I'm going to go back to my home and start trying to get certain items that will make my life better. Like a Fortune 3 pick. I'm not asking for much. A Silk Touch pick. Still probably more probable than the Fortune 3. Um, and a nice worker pick. Something with efficiency 4 or 5 with some nice unbreaking 3 on it. Looking at the overview map, I have realized it's probably best for me to use the boat to get around from where my shop is to here. This ain't UHC, I don't have to worry about it. So, I'm going to do that. Um, we'll see if I can make a good landing port. But you see these stone things? I was thinking of making that into a dwarven head. Um, I don't know how to do 3D art too well. And that would be a good way to learn. It might be frustrating. It might be embarrassing. But uh, it would be really cool if I could make that into a dwarven head. So if people are coming in, like Viking ships coming in, they can see that they're going to the land of the dwarves. I don't even know if it should be the land of the dwarves, to tell you the truth. Seeing... Oh, I thought those were jungle trees for a second. I'm like, I got a jungle! I need uh, vines because this build over there is going to be using lots of um, cracked... What's going on here? Okay, I'm probably not where I am in the world. I'm going to crash and burn when I come off this boat, aren't I? Um, I'm going to be using a lot of mossy stone bricks and stuff for this build. And I've been working on the design of it and my... Uh, ooh, in my... I think we'll just keep you there. I have a uh, super secret world where I figure stuff out so I can do them here. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm at 27 levels right now. I'm going to get myself up to... You exploded. With, uh, get myself up to 30 levels. And start enchanting books and diamond pickaxes. Um, so I can be a better miner and do those branch mining things that you saw all last week faster and better than I did last week because that was quite the fun stuff to watch, wasn't it? But um, seeing it is a beginning of an episode. I gotta do my farming and all that good stuff. And just for giggles and sh sh shits. Yeah. You're, what she was saying was, you're, you are making me angry. And I had to remind my daughter, it wasn't what her mom was doing that was making her angry. Because she has a choice on being angry or not. That's one thing that people don't realize. Somebody can cut you off in traffic. Somebody can call you a name. Somebody can be a complete jerk to you. But ultimately, it is your choice to become angry. And I was trying to tell my daughter, it's not your mom that's making you angry. It's you making you, yourself angry. You choose to be angry. Your, re your, your reaction to her... I'm just reminiscing about stuff I have. Is making you angry. Hi, buddy. Thank you. And my, I think, I forget what my daughter was doing. I think they were getting ready for school, and my daughter was upset because she wanted to wear a shirt. And 
and her mom would say, no, you can't wear this shirt, you gotta wear something else. And my daughter was saying, you are making me angry. And I, and she was like getting really upset and I could tell she was about to have a meltdown. And I had to go out there and say, your mom can tell you whatever she wants to tell you, but it's your reaction to it that is making you angry, not her saying that you can't wear this particular shirt. Sure, it would be great to wear that shirt, but really in the big scheme of things, it's not that big deal. So when somebody does something, your reaction to it defines who you are. So if your reaction is always going to be anger, that's not fun. I mean, ultimately, yes, there's good times to be angry, but if it's what your go-to emotion when people are being stupid, then it's not worthy. But I am still feeling better. Oh, you got me. Oh, you got me again. 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 Oh, you keep getting me. Oh, how dare you. Okay, I'm a little whacked out. I hate talking on the phone. And that's because I know anger is one of my main character traits. And I don't like that. So, out in public, you will never see me angry because it's embarrassing. To me, if I can't control my emotions, I'm embarrassed because I can't control myself. So, anger is kind of like a, I can't control my reactions. Plus, doing many years of retail work and dealing with people coming in. Yes, I'm looking for the Christmas album. It's red and green. Do you know who it is? And I'll be like, well, Bing Crosby's Christmas, of course. But uh, with retail, you can't show any anger. Uh, you kind of plaster a smile on your face, even if it is fake, and just go go with it. You know, ah, thank you, ma'am, for your, for your input. I will think about it. Um, so I'm able, was able to, basically what I'm saying is if you fake a smile, eventually that smile becomes real. My inside, I get angry, but I am able to control it and say, well, this is just how I am. It's not this person's fault that I feel this way. It's my reaction to them, which is wrong. And it's not worthy to get really angry with them and lose sleep over it or go over my head over and over again how I'm going to get them back and whatever I'm not an eye for an eye person that's for sure I'm more of a Buddhist monk I even shaved my head the suicide pit yeah I think that's what I'm going to call those mines the suicide pit the reason is is because scouting the location for the mines my horse chocolate cream died and then I died at the very lowest level I was gonna be digging I just dug the staircase right into lava and just walked right into the lava and I had my death so um, the suicide pit sounds good to me so who is gonna rule in the suicide pit by nine chunk cave that is two chunks tall. So it's nine times sixteen. Jeez. Uh, one forty four. Is that right? Sounds good for me right now. Um, approximately, and thirty two blocks high. And there's going to be no lighting in there whatsoever. So this should be a blast to uh, record and show I'm gonna use the only um, lighting I'm gonna do is uh, half slab lighting like I'm gonna have blocks of nether rack lit on fire hidden behind half slabs that are 32 blocks up in the top of the mine and it's not really going to be the actual mining place. It's just going to be the room to get to the mining place. Think of where, you know, everybody's seen 
it was the Fellowship of the Rings. The big cavern right outside of Balin's tomb, I think it was Balin. And uh, the Balrog came with all those tall pillars. Everybody has done it. Well, not everybody. Anybody who's like Minecraft has made something similar to that. Okay, so when they're jumping up and down, that's when they can hit me. Because sometimes when a mob falls down, they... Um, oh, did I just get a thing of iron? I did. Um, they can hit you better than if you're just standing here. I don't think this guy can actually hit me. Can you? But if they're falling and they keep jumping up and down, those are the ones that can hit me. Even the ones that... See, he's jumping up and down, so he can hit me. So I wonder what that is. We'll figure that out someday. I'm trying to get myself ahead, actually. Um, I'm trying to get myself really ahead. Um, I'm recording two weeks of videos each week. Come on. Really? I just guess I'm going to hit them with this. Maybe I should do this. Where are you? Do I want to waste one of my only arrows on this guy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Let's see what I get. Efficiency. Projectile no, or we're going to do the efficiency. There's my silk, silk gotch. Excellent. Now, we need to go for fortune. The thing uh, that he was telling Stacy is not, I don't know if you remember, but I'm losing a ton of weight. Um, and uh, Stacy is in a lot of pain. She's lost a lot of weight. And what my brother was saying was, our first piece of armor, was that all the toxins in your body get stored up in your fat. So, when you burn the fat, the toxins get released. And that is what is happening. She's Stacy. She's having her um, body is resenting her right now uh, she has lots of back pain lots of general aches and pains and it's because all the toxins that she has eaten throughout her life that is being burned away right now is uh, getting put in her bloodstream so uh, drink a lot of water I drink between five and seven liters of water a day to help me with my journey of uh, losing the at my guess at my highest point to where I need to be um, let's see I need to lose between 180 and 200 pounds total I'm down about 50 pounds right now and I'm just doing it slowly Stacy is doing it a lot faster her doctor gave her something to help her burn so she's lost 120 pounds approximately and uh, she doesn't she feels worse now than she did before because of all these aches and pains that she has which my brother says will go away if she hydrates herself and lets the toxins flow out um, the toxins will go in your bloodstream and if you are dehydrated they will kind of stay in your bloodstream and give you headaches and these aches and pains but if you you know drink a lot of fluids you'll pee it out and stuff so you hear a lot of people say you are what you eat um, you are also what you think the way you control the conversations that go on in your head determines yeah there we are fortune 2 I will take that for now 
That's all you are. Jerk. Sharpness. Ooh. You know what? I am gonna go. Well, I'm gonna uh, do another farm run. And maybe I might make another. Um, another sword and use it this time with that sharpness. This would be nice to be diamonded up. Diamonded up. If somebody really kind of bothers you and makes your life miserable, just leave it alone. Go and, you know, the eye for an eye is just causing more eyes for people to eye. And all it does is escalate things. With when I smoke cigarettes, I love my cigarettes. I kiss my cigarettes. I made love with them. Not literally, but I loved everything about it. I loved the way they tasted, they smelled, and the way they went down, and all that. I was a pro smoker all the way. And I was never going to quit until I wanted to. So I never tried until I wanted to. And as soon as I wanted to, I quit right away. What you might want to do before you go to college, especially if you are still living at home, is take six months and do eight hours a day. Work for eight hours a day for those six months, like a regular job, on something that you enjoy doing to get a living going. So if you want to, it doesn't matter what it is, if you want to do YouTube, if you want to do streaming if you want to do art if you want to be a musician take eight hours a day five days a week at least five days a week and work for that goal because i'm in a situation i'm at a job i don't really care for but it pays me enough money to do what i want to do for the most part um, and i'm kind of stuck at that job a job i don't like and I don't have the ability to take six months of my life to spend eight hours a day. Um, I forget where I heard it, but it's if you are passionate about something and you are doing it eight hours a day for six months, take that six months, you should be able to get a career going spending that much time on it. Focus your energies on it. Because... Um, you don't want to be working for somebody else your life. You want to be doing something that you enjoy doing for a living. And uh, I would do that before you go to college. Especially if you can do it living at home so you don't have to really worry about expenses. Other than basic men. I mean, if, you, if you're living with your parents and they need rent or something, if they're charging you... I don't know, something stupid for rent, uh, go get a part-time job. But also, while you're doing that part-time job, do the eight hours a day on something that you're enthusiastic about, something that you really enjoy doing. Um, and it should pan out if you're smart enough. Um, and when I mean smart enough is that you see when things aren't working and you change them to work properly. So if you are advertising a channel um, eight hours a day, doing the right things, uh, you will be successful doing it. Just don't be stupid about it. I will um, eventually someday uh, tell you where I heard that, but I don't remember right now. I just wish I could take six months off of work and do that. Eight hours a day, 40 hours a week at least to get a career going in something I like to do. But I don't have, I have a family. I have to support them. I can't have them eating Roman noodles for six months while I am living out on the streets or in a car while I figure it out. I am gonna, do I have two more diamonds? Yes, I do. I am gonna make a sword because even with the Sharpness 4 book, I can at least put it on the sword with this 
beautiful thing I have yet to use. Perfectly made. Yes. So let me see what the sword can get me. Unbreaking. Yeah. I hear an Enderman. Come here. And during the day, they don't stay aggro on you. So it's hard to get these Endermen pissed off at you during the day. There you are. Come on. Get back over here. I know you can do it. Come on. Where did you go? Yeah. It's no. It's almost useless to aggro an Enderman during the day. Let's hope something else is on this. Yeah, I'll take it. So what I think I'm going to do... Is combine these two. At least I have a fortune too. No. I am not going to combine them two. I'm going to put you in here. And if I... I'm just going to silk touch... What are we gonna get with the? What are we gonna get with this? Sharpness four. That's what I've already got. I could, I could do that. Well, I need to get levels, and I can make a sharpness five. But really, is that worthy? Thoughts. So that's why I'm not too worried that I only have a fortune two. I can get a fortune two book, and I'll combine those and have the fortune three. Then I'll, you know. Have the fortune three pickaxe, and of course, I'm gonna put unbreaking three on it. Unbreaking three brooks are so awesome. When I had the gold farm on top of the nether, which white fire HD, I should put a permanent link in my videos to him because I refer to him so much. Um, the gold farms you can easily, I mean, you AFK for 20 minutes and you have a hundred levels. I don't even think it takes that long. Maybe, I don't know. And I'm so jealous when I watch his videos because they'll come on the video and they'll have 127 levels or, you know, 60 levels and it's like unused levels and I'm so early in this world that levels are like, uh, I'm looking at zombies falling right now and talking. That's what it is like, but when you get a good XP farm, XP is like useless. Stronghold, yay! I can think. Um, that's part of my problem right now. But when I get a stronghold and kill the dragon, I don't even need to kill the dragon. But I'm going to make a ender farm out there with an endermite and the new way of doing it. Because it's the quickest and easiest way. So we can get some diamond armor. And then I can start working on the mines. Um, and start showing you my designs. It's not... Um, excellent designs because I'm just dealing with the the four grays basically and adding a little green. I gotta go to a swamp, find a swamp <clears throat> again to get the vines. Right? Yeah. To get the mossy cob uh, mossy cobbles, not cobblestone, mossy stone bricks. I gotta remember how to do all the new bricks because I'm I am using some of the sto chiseled stone brick for the design also along with some stone slabs and cobble slabs and whatever's and the stairways going up to the top of the mountain above cloud level all the way down to bedrock basically is a five wide um, and that's going to be interesting all things to look forward to I've been um, thinking about making this world a stream world I've said that numerous times I'm also thinking of another option which is starting another world as a stream world. Continue doing this one, even past the 100 episodes. Continue it. 
but stream the other world and make a weekly video kind of like Doc M's world tour which is what I was going to do with the Athens I had an Athens um, video series called the Athens tour I think which was kind of like an edited proper video um, properly edited video one that would be more enjoyable to watch one that moves smoother and didn't have all the quirks and the slurps and the things that make these so embarrassing um, the type of video I would want to do if I did this for a living you know ethos style creating stuff spending 10 hours to make one video that type of stuff um, so I would stream the getting the materials preparing the video preparing for the videos and maybe stream some of the building but not the actual recording of the video I don't know we'll see so do I want two worlds with a lot of work or one I really want to get into the streaming usually when I edit these videos um, it's a two-hour recording session that I do and I think back after I've recorded it and going wow I've had some really lame dull areas and I go back and I start editing and I'm like oh wow this sounds a lot better than I remember it but by the time I get to the middle of the two hours and the times where I'm struggling to find things to talk about I'm like oh yeah do I really want to upload this <laughs> But I do, because what the hell? What's the worst that can happen? Uh, I don't like a video. Uh, so, I enjoyed making it. It's been fun. It's experience gaining for me. and keep telling myself that. Mm -hmm. nah. Yes, that's right. You saw that. I actually walked past Iron and did not pick it up. Would that bother me? Of course it will. I'm just going to cover it up and forget that I saw that eye. Then I'll log on when nobody's watching and collect it. And kill another horse. Let's make some kick-ass stuff. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Unbreaking. What else do you got? Anything good? Efficiency 3. Not really good. Um, excuse me. Fortune 2. Unbreaking 3. Efficiency 3. And no. Unbreaking. Let's put you in here. Cost 8. We'll deal with that. Cost... Five. We'll deal with that. So, uh, what should we call this? I know what I can call this. Eat my white fire. <laughs> Had to do it. Uh, let's silky. The uh, the sounds aren't working too well. Worker, right? Is this my worker? Okay. Which one's not work? Silky worker. Fortune. Fortune. I wonder why some of them cost two and some of them don't. When I moved down here, I only could fit stuff in my Honda. I had a Honda Civic, small car. And I didn't have anything to trail anything, so everything I needed I brought in the Honda, and everything I didn't need I left in storage. And uh, 
I left my amps for my guitars in storage because they're too big and they're still in storage. So I, uh, when I play, I plug the guitar into the computer and use a simulated amp program. Oops. Made by a really great company. And it allows me to get the distortion and whatever else I need on the guitar. So I don't really need an amp unless I'm going to be playing out. And I'm not in a band down here. And if I were, I'd probably be playing country music. And I like country music just as much as I like growing up. There's some good country music, but it, for the most part, it. Um, I, I'm not really a person who is into lyrics, but to me, rock music, you have to read between the lines, or most music, you have to read between the lines of the words to know what the song is about, or figure out the deeper meanings in the song. Country music, it's like, okay, here's the song, this is what it's about, and that's it, no imagination. I like using my imagination. I like contorting songs into things that matter into my life instead of any other one. Um, I like to have creative control over what I think a song is about. And I think most musicians who write music you know, don't want to tell you what a song is really about because then it alienates a person from liking a song if it's about something that they don't care about. And country music is just like, you know what a song is about because it tells you what the song is about. I am driving my truck, I am drunk, and my dog has just been run over by this truck because I am drunk and I am sad and now I'm going to jail. That's a country song to me. Rock song is like... You gotta dig a little bit deeper, read in between the lines, and know exactly what it's about. It's. And I don't know. I liked country music for about five minutes when I was a kid, but. To me, I don't know. I just. I don't get it. And that could be just because I'm from up north. But down here, you know, there's ten country stations for every rock and roll station. It's kind of annoying. So basically, um. I am going to terraform this down, make a pond in the middle here, so I'm going to have to get some ice, get rid of this waterfall or, well, more likely, add another waterfall down here, plant a big ass tree here, probably a jungle, and a big ass jungle tree there. Then make a five wide entrance here that probably goes up about 12 or 16 blocks. But have a secret opening. So, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know how I'm going to do the opening. But it's going to be a huge entrance here. With some sort of type of doors. Probably a piston door, but not, not a... I never tried like doing a five piston door thing. I don't know. 